guys, so we're back. Um, when we left off, we were getting ready to start laying out the tongue of the trailer. Um, I've already got those pieces cut. They're over there in the other room. But I wanted to explain to you real quick kind of where we're at um, as a refresher. So we've got our trailer main beams laid out. We've got our front cross member put in place and our rear cross member in. And we've got these extra pieces on there just to kind of hold the trailer square while we're welding on the front and rear cross members and stuff like that. So we're perfectly level both directions and we have our uh, cross members in. So I'm just gonna weld those out real quick. I'm gonna wait to notch and weld this one in because I don't really know where the front of my cooker is gonna perfectly sit yet. And I wanna wait and put that in, in the spot I like it in. So it's gonna wind up somewhere in here, I imagine. Maybe back a little farther, I don't know. So I'm just gonna put it off to the side for now. And when we're ready to actually set that cook chamber on this trailer, that's when we're gonna decide where this goes. Um, so I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna get those, uh, the beams for the tongue in here and we're gonna start working on laying those out. And so guys, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and weld around this spot where this, where this channel and the tubing meets. And uh, then I'm gonna weld the back side of that. When I get the, the front and back side of this channel and tube welded together on both corners, then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this brace out of the way so I can weld the top cord of this on both sides. And uh, once I get that done, then we're gonna have this piece of angle out of the way and we can start working on their tongue of the trailer. Okay guys, I've got the uh, front cross member welded in entirely and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, uh, uh, this brace out of here. Okay, now since I got all that cut off of there, I'm gonna weld the top cord on both sides. That's gonna give me some resistance to twist. All right, so we got this end of it done. I'm gonna move down there, weld the other part up and get it in, in, in place so I can move that brace off of there. And uh, then we'll start fabbing out this tongue. Okay guys, uh, so this is kind of the complex part right here. Now we're gonna start laying out our tongue of this trailer here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm building this trailer upside down because honestly it's just a lot easier. This is called a coupler is what this is called. And they come in different configurations, different shapes and sizes. We need to match this angle to the coupler uh, or the, the tongue to the coupler, okay? So the other thing we gotta keep in mind while we're doing it is that we want this to be in the center of the, of the trailer. So we're gonna use a similar method to our three, four, five. The other difference is, is that this is not a right triangle, so three, four, five won't work. But what we can do is measure from the corner of our trailer to the center of our coupler on each side, and that'll tell us if we're at where we're at this way on the center of our coupler, and then also we're gonna set it off the front of the trailer, uh, I think 36 inches or something like that. And honestly, I can't remember that number, so I'm gonna go verify it before I do it, and then I'll tell you that number here in a second. So we're literally gonna use this coupler to help us set the angle on these two uh, pieces of channel so that it puts our coupler in the center of the trailer, right? It'll be a lot easier to, to measure things that way. So basically what we gotta do is make sure that we stick this on there, clamp it in place, whatever you wanna do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't weld anything yet. Just clamp it in place to where this coupler is centered properly and your channels are the same length, like they're square with each other, parallel and all of that. And like I said, just measure from the center of the coupler back to that angle, make this parallel with the edge of the coupler that's set in our angle, and then we can pivot this where we want it to be. So I'm gonna take some time to set all of that up and then we'll cover it one more time here in just a second. All right guys, so we kind of got it centered from that corner to here and from there to here. Um, what I did is I took the coupler and I, I used it to set the angle on my two tongue on my two tongue rails. So how I did that is, is I held it up here and I used some of these strong hand clamps. I got one on the bottom holding on each member holding up against the channel and then I got one on each side holding in on each channel. Now one thing I recommend 
is you should already know kind of where to notch this this cross member or this uh, tongue member here. And I know for not for what I'm doing, it's going to be 88 inches. So if you have to use a set of our plans to determine that, or you can also uh, you can also go measure a trailer. <laughs> It's that simple. If you have another trailer that's got the same, uh, the same coupler on it or whatever, just go measure it and see what it is. Um, I know from experience though, I'm trying to be somewhere around 36 inches to the front of my frame uh, uh, tongue members here, off the frame, and then whatever that is to the end of the coupler. So it's been about 40 and a half or 41. I think I wound up going 41 after all that measurement, measuring and stuff. Yeah, I'm actually still 40 and 5 eighths is where I'm at, and I'm okay with that. An eighth of an inch this way isn't going to make as big of a difference as an inch, eighth of an inch this way. That's really bad. So what I did is I know that I need this to be notched, this, this tongue to wrap around at 88 inches from the front of this member. So what I did is I took and I made a mark with a square on this piece of metal here at 88 inches square down. And I went over there to that corner and I measured from the front of the frame, I measured from the front of the frame back to where 88 inches is or where my mark is on here. That wound up being like 44 and like three eighths is what that wound up being. And I transferred that measurement to the other side over here. 44 and three eighths exactly. So now I've got my mark here that shows me where I should be on that. Now I can double check that measurement here by, by measuring from this edge to the to the edge of the frame. And I've got 19 and like 5 sixteenths, or I'm sorry, 3 sixteenths. And on this side, I've got exactly the same. So since I'm lined up there and lined up here, and then I'm lined up there and lined up here as well, I know that this tongue is straight and, and square. So now all I gotta do is measure off the front edge of this, of this front cross member here on the frame to the center of this and make sure I've got this length where I want it to be this way. Um, hopefully that all made sense. So now I, I can confidently make marks where this goes on my trailer frame so I can move it around and get it right back in the same place. If you notice, I actually got clamps holding all this so I could move, like I had this side clamped so I could move that one around and then I would clamp that one, move over here and move it until I got everything put in position. Um, anyway, any questions about that, hit us in the chat. Like I said, you can belay a lot of this live action figuring stuff out if you have a set of plans. And I have plans for three different trailers on smokerplans.net. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tack the, the coupler where it is right now first. I've got clamps on it, but I wanna at least put a couple of heavy tacks where I can cut them if I need to. That way I've got that little bit of extra insurance that this is not gonna move in the coupler. Once I get that done, I'm gonna pop those clamps off and I'm gonna make a notch, a V notch in the top and the bottom cord of this channel so that I can bend, so I can bend that piece of angle around, that channel around. I don't like to have any vertical cuts in the middle of a span on a trailer. I like to keep, you know, anything vertical out of that. So that's what we call a wrap around tongue is what that's called. So it goes down and it wraps around, and then my back axle is going to be somewhere near the end of that uh, piece of channel for the tongue here. So anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to leave the camera rolling. I'm going to start doing some measuring and notching and stuff. That one's perfect. That one's perfect. Yeah, so I like that. Now I'm gonna check the front of my tongue off the frame, make sure it didn't move. 40 and a half, I mean, it's exact, exact. Everything I, everything I wanted is in place. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and weld underneath the underside of this where it touches the, the bottom of this channel. I'm just gonna put me a real quick pass there and there on both sides of the channel. And uh, then I'll go ahead and anchor in the back end of this side of the channel, but I'm not going to weld the tail because I'm going to heat that up and pull it over or just bend it if you can, but I'm going to heat it up and bend it uh, with the torch. So anyway, stand by while I weld that up. <laughs> All right, we got it tacked in place. Now I'm gonna roll the torch over here and I'm gonna heat that tail up and bend it around. 
Now I'm just, I made a mark and I'm gonna follow that mark while I'm heating and I'm just gonna put some pressure on it sideways. It feels like it would just bend right around, but I don't wanna shove everything and mess up my level and all that. Um, anyway, here we go. This is a propylene torch, so you gotta walk it in a little bit different than acetylene. It's gonna to look totally different on camera. Propylene is just a different kind of gas. It's not the same as propane. You get it, you just gotta kind of walk it in. It's got a recess, it's got a different kind of tip on it, kind of like a propane tip. I'm just gonna lean, if you can hear me, I'm just gonna lean in on this right here while I'm heating over here. All right, I like that. I'm gonna go to the other side. Okay, so I got that bent around there. Now all I gotta do is clamp it down where I want it on those tails, and then I'm gonna tack those in place as well. Okay, I like that. Now I'm gonna take a hard disc on a grinder, and where that seam is, I'm gonna bevel that out where the two joints come together. I'm gonna bevel that out and I'm gonna weld in there. This is what I mean by a hard disc. You should use a guard with this, um, but I'm going in on its edge. Um, it's a quarter inch thick, it's a hard disc. Um, it's meant to be used on the edge, but it's not a slicer disc. Okay, so I just made a bevel in there at two spots about six inches in from the ends, from each end. Now I'm gonna weld those in. Okay, now I'm gonna set up here and I'm gonna go ahead and weld the bottom side of this tongue. Um, get this coupler welded to the main beam. There we go, fellas. So uh, we got our coupler welded on. We got our tongue mounted to the trailer. We got all that other stuff done there. Now, next step here in the next video, we're going to uh, hang axles. So stay tuned.